Hey guys, welcome to Mash Hacks. My name is Ben. My name is Anthony. And today we're looking at a $15 keg line cleaner and how to build one. Uh, it's got simple parts from Bunnings. Uh, it's really easy to put together and it's one of the best things you can do to maintain your kegerator and the beer lines in it. So in this video, we're going to construct this and then we're going to go and use it. Let's check it out. So Zig, what have we got? We've got the, the pressure cleaner here, which is from Bunnings. It costs about $7. And uh, we've got a gas, uh, sorry, a liquid post with a universal poppet. Uh, and that's gonna attach to the, the top of the, of the nozzle bit area. Uh, and we've got a, just a 17 spanner there to take the liquid post off and onto kegs, basically. Um, and some thread tape to attach it to the nozzle as well. So what we're gonna do is yeah, basically attach this liquid post to the nozzle of this pump pressure cleaner container thing. So the first step we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be taking this end nozzle bit off the sprayer because this will give us a good thread close to what we need for the post, but it's not gonna be exactly the same, which is where the thread tape comes in. So as you can see there, it's almost, almost a good fit but not quite. So you need to use thread tape to create a good seal and it will make its own thread on, in the plastic. So next step, get some of this thread tape. This is just the standard Teflon thread tape you get. So crack that. So thread tape, you probably wanna be running it the same way that you screw the screw it on. It's a bit hard to get started sometimes, yep. Well, you want to probably go around about maybe five or six times. Oops, sorry, keeps turning. There we go. Just enough that it can grip on there pretty well. Yep, so we'll give that a go now. So I've just wrapped that. To like just enough to hold the poppet on there, just to make sure, the poppet, sorry, on the keg post, just to make sure there's no leaks are coming out and give it a bit more to grip onto because it's not quite the same threading that you need. Yep. Okay, so next step will be to actually, so make sure you put the poppet in as well, like that's, you need that, otherwise it's just gonna start spraying out because this trigger will no longer work. So you wanna just put this in there like that and then attach it on there. Just go, go as slow as you can on there because you don't want to go too fast and thread it. So just go slow. Yep. Yep. And so basically we're yep. creating our own thread because yep. they're not similar threads. Yep. Let's just do this. Yep, nearly there. You go go most of the way on because it will give a bit more. Ah, there we go. Yep. Yep. So you can go most of the way on as well. Yep, and. There we have it. That's all there is to it. So now we've attached this post on here and no leaks. Yeah, sounded good. So I guess we'll give it a test now. So here we are at the kegerator. Uh, you can see I've got my dirty lines. I've got a couple with just water in them, but uh, this is our dirty line. Uh, I don't know if you can see that very well. Now what we've done is we've already put in uh, some hot water and some PBW into our uh, pressure cleaner thing here. We've pumped it up. Have you already charged this up? Yep. All right, we've already pumped it up, so it's good to go. Um, and what we'll do is we'll connect connect our uh, dirty line to our post, and then and then as we come up here at our taps, uh, I believe it's the right tap. Okay. Out comes the crap. So when it starts running clear, I guess you can tell that most of the stuff's out. Yeah. You might need to give it a little charge every now and then as well. So I'm just pumping that up again. Yep. Yeah. There we go. 
So cut that now. And let that sit for about 15 minutes or so, so the PBW will clean anything in the line out. Tap number three. Excellent. Leave that go for a while. All right, let's leave that sit for 20 minutes. Okay, so it's been 15 minutes. We've replaced our uh, pump with fresh hot water rather than, and rinsed out all the soap, basically, all the PBW. So now what we're gonna do is just run some hot water through the taps to rinse them out. Now it's really important that you do, uh, you have the water at the same temperature that you did with the PBW in it to make sure that you actually uh, dissolve all of the stuff in the lines. Because if you use a cooler, uh, a cooler water here, uh, you may leave behind some particulate. So. We've pumped it up. We'll do our first one. Oh. So you can see from that, it's got a little bit more out of the lines, which is good. Hang on, it's really bright. There we go. Yeah, and we, we are getting some color uh, out of the lines still, so that's good, but we'll just let that uh, through run through a little bit. You probably want to run through about a pint's worth just to make sure it's all out. Yep. Okay. Yep. Should probably do it now. Cool. So now that's rinsed, you can see our lines are nice and clean. We've got, uh, let's see that one there, yeah. You can see our beer lines are now nice and clean. Uh, all of them now are clear. And that's ready to uh, have our next beer put on tap. Lastly, if you want to leave these empty for a while, uh, if you're not putting kegs onto them immediately, it's a good idea to rinse them through with some star sand solution to keep anything from growing in the lines uh, while you're waiting for that next beer to come through. Thanks for watching guys, now you've seen how easy it is to make one of these, so we'll put the parts list up on the video in the description so you can see how to do it yourselves at home and keep your kegerator in good working condition. So thanks for watching, <laughs> see you next time.